bring this. Um, and we're gonna, um, so we're gonna talk about different kinds of solar systems and we're gonna uh, start to identify possible loads you might imagine putting on a system that you design. So um, let's get to it. Uh, so we have five different types of systems. You can turn off your monitor if you want. Five different types of systems that I'm gonna talk about. I mean, there's a lot more than this, but these are sort of five main types. The first is where you have a direct to load. So we have a solar panel and, uh, a, and a load. In this case, I have a little drawing with a fan. So when the sun hits the panel, the fan turns. And when the sun stops hitting the panel, the fan stops turning, right? That's, that's as basic a system as you can get. Uh, there's no battery and uh, yeah, it's a very simple uh, system that, um, you know, it's powerful. Uh, you know, you could have an attic fan or a water pump or, you know, something that just runs when the sun is at a fountain. You can have a fountain in your garden where when the sun hits it, it's running. Um, anyway, very simple sort of system. Um, the second type of system adds a battery so things can happen when the sun isn't shining. And so uh, uh, my diagram is not the best diagram, but I have the solar panel connected to the battery and then I have the light bulb connected to the battery. And um, uh, an example of this kind of system would be like path, path lights. You know, many people have little solar path lights uh, in their garden um, or walkway and they charge up during the day. And then at night, the battery, you know, runs the light until it goes out. So, um, that's a panel, a battery, and a load. Um, and then uh, the third type, this is the kind of uh, system that we're gonna make with our solar suitcase. Um, it adds a charge controller. I've mentioned this before. A charge controller is like the referee or the manager of the whole system. It uh, keeps the battery from getting run down too far because that's bad for batteries. And it also keeps the battery from getting overcharged because your batteries don't wanna be uh, charged too much. Either way, batteries are kind of sensitive. So this is the type of system we're going to have in our solar suitcases. And it's going to be the type of system, pardon me, that you design for um, for, for our class. Um, and th this is still that same thing. So here's a diagram of what that kind of system would look like. Um, uh, we saw this diagram from the day two slideshow. So see, there's the charge controller up at the top. And then we have one circuit over on one side is the solar panel connected to the charge controller. Another circuit is the charge controller and the battery. A separate circuit is the charge controller and the load. And um, uh, the charge controller is like the boss of everything. Um, so um, uh, that's the kind of system that uh, we have in our solar suitcases. And it's the kind of system that we're gonna, um, I'm gonna help you guys design. So, um, a slightly more complicated system adds what's called an inverter. And an inverter is something that converts battery electricity, DC, direct current, to uh, AC current, which can run a regular appliance. So you could like plug in your uh, computer or uh, a fan or uh, you know a charger for some, some device. So um, inverters come in all different sizes from Tiny ones you can plug into your car cigarette lighter to giant ones that you uh, connect to a generator. Um, and uh, I have a little, I, I looked up inverters and found uh, uh, an inverter website and they showed all these different kinds. So the top left one is a, is a small inverter that you could run some, you know, like you could run a computer on or some small device. And then they, they just get bigger and more powerful and more expensive as you go along. Um, uh, Anyway, you might in the end need to have an inverter for your uh, solar system. Um, the last type of system that I just wanted to mention is called a grid intertie system. And this is a system where there's no batteries. You just have solar panels and an inverter, and then the electricity goes to the house and or the meter. And if the house uses all the power, great. If the house doesn't use all the power, then the extra power goes back through the meter and out into the utility grid, helping provide other people with power who need it. So um, that's uh, this is what you mostly have when you have a, a system at a house. And in fact, Annalee has solar panels. You probably have seen them on the um, 
over the school parking lot, uh, the student parking lot. Those panels, this is this type of system. Those panels provide power to the school. And if the school's not using all the power, then the panels uh, sell the power back to uh, you know the utilities. Uh, they go back out on the grid and, um, and save the school money. Um, so uh, uh, you can add a battery to a system like this, but batteries are expensive and finicky. So um, the, the downside of having a system like this is when the, when the utility grid goes out, your system goes out. So for example, like I have solar panels at my house and when PG&E cuts the power, I don't have any power. Even though I've got panels on my roof, um, you'd think I could still have power, but um, because mine is a grid intertie system, the, the panels aren't, aren't allowed to work, um, you know, if, if the grid isn't working. And uh, again, I, I chose that kind of system because it would have cost thousands and thousands of dollars more to have batteries, uh, uh, you know, and then batteries have to be replaced at a regular basis. It's just, you know, we're just trying to keep the system simple. Um, all right, so um, today's assignment, uh, so our solar suitcases are the type with the panel, charge controller, battery, and one or more loads, the third type from today's presentation. And this is also the type of system I'm going to ask you to design. We're going to be designing it over the next week or so. Um, and the first step in designing a system is, is to identify the loads that you might want to power in case of an emergency. Um, so today's assignment is a Google Sheet, which you're going to use to identify uh, potential loads. So um, I'll show you the Google Sheet, um, and then I'll post the assignment. Here's what the Google Sheet looks like. It's called Solar Day 4 Exploring Loads. And uh, uh, there's space for you to write up to five devices and how many watts each device uses. So um, uh, I need both columns filled out. And then there's a bunch of instructions down here. I want you to, um, to read the instructions because if you pick something that requires too many watts, then I need you to leave me a little note here saying probably too big you know, just to show me that you're paying attention to what's going on. So um, again, today's task, like you might say uh, phone charger uh, right here. And then you're saying, well, I don't know how many watts a phone charger uses. Fine, go to Google and say, how many watts does my iPhone charger use? And you'll get an answer. Uh, it says a USB charger delivers two and a half watts, Da, 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 da. Uh, iPhone charger, five watts. Great. So you can go back to this thing and you can write five watts. Oops. I thought I would have been right where I was, but I'm um, right here. Five watts. And, you know, and you're good to go. Anyway, I'm, I'm actually, uh, you know, editing the original document. So I'm deleting my edits because that was never my intention. So um, anyway. That's, I want you to, um, uh, where are we? Right here. I want you to um, fill out that table and turn in the Google Sheet. If you find yourself, I don't know why or how, but two people from fourth period asked me for permission to edit the document. And, and that's not necessary. There's a copy in the Google Classroom for you, for each student. So you don't need to ask me for editing permissions. So before you do ask me for editing permissions, try to figure out why you think you're needing to do that because each 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 of you gets your own copy of the document. So you don't need to, um, I mean, you know, I, I, I can't figure out how this is happening, but, um, but you don't have to ask me for editing permissions. Um, any questions? So please read the instructions I put in the document and uh, 